In a faraway town called Nazareth, there lived a girl called Mary. She was beautiful and full of love, and she wanted to love God a lot. One day, while Mary was sewing her dress, an angel appeared to her. It was the angel Gabriel. Hail Mary, full of grace. Mary was a little frightened when she saw the angel. Seeing this, the angel said, Do not be afraid, Mary. I have great news for you. God has sent me to tell you that you are going to have a child, and he will be called Jesus. But how can this happen when I am not married? You will be filled with the Holy Spirit, so the child who will be holy we call the Son of God. I am happy to do what God wants. That way you have said you done to And the angel left her. Sometime later, Mary got married to Joseph, a carpenter, who lived in the same village, and they settled down to live together. A few days later, there was a big commotion in the center of the town. The Roman soldiers, led by a captain, had come to make an important announcement. March! 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 Troops, halt! I said halt! <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, the Emperor Caesar Augustus wants to know how many people are living in this land, where they are born to be counted, and will disobey the Emperor will be punished. Soldiers ready? March! March! Now Joseph was from a town which was miles away from Nazareth, so that meant he and Mary had to travel from, on a long journey to Bethlehem. It was winter time and it was very cold. Even the little donkey that carried Mary was feeling cold. Oh Mary, I wish we didn't have to go to Bethlehem at this time of year, especially now that you're expecting a baby. I'm so worried about you. I hope you don't catch cold. Don't worry, Joseph. Joseph arrived at Bethlehem, things did not look too good at all. There were so many other people there to be counted that all the hotels and inns seemed to be full. There was no room anywhere. Now, around Bethlehem, there were lots of little hills where sheep used to graze. The shepherds who looked after them had to take turns sleeping out in the open at night because that was when the sheep were in most danger from foxes and wolves. Wow, the sky looks so lovely. They had never seen so many stars and they were so bright. I'm glad it's my turn to stay awake. I wouldn't want to miss this for anything. As they were admiring the stars, suddenly an angel appears in the sky and the whole sky seemed to be lit up with the light that comes from her. David and Adam jumped up with fright. This wakes up the other shepherds who look up at the angel with great fear. Do not be afraid. I have great news for you. Today Jesus has been born. He is the Savior of the world. You'll find him lying in a manger in the stable in Bethlehem. Just follow the star and he'll take you there. And don't worry about your sheep, because God will look after them. Glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. They decided to bring a little baby lamb for a gift.
Three kings and their servants were making their way through the night. They had been traveling for months, walking or riding their camels for thousands of miles. They came from different parts of the world and had met by chance as they traveled along, following a bright star which had appeared in the sky. Because they were wise, they realized that the star was a sign that the king of the world had been born. Ugh, I'm so tired. How much longer do we have to travel before we find him? Let us not give up hope. It can't be too much further now. I think the star is getting better in the sky. Maybe we're getting closer. Come on, let's hurry. in the stable at Bethlehem. Mary, his mother, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And then both she and Joseph gazed at him with love. They could hardly believe their eyes. Jesus, the Savior of the world, had been born, and he was going to be living with them. They were amazed that they had found the Savior of the world. While they were watching their sheep, the whole sky was lit up with angels, and one of them told them that they, you were here. The angels were singing in the sky, saying, Glory to God in the I've never seen anything so beautiful. At first we were terrified, but the angels told us that Jesus had been born the Savior of the world. We are so happy to be here with you and Jesus. We are happy you are here too to share our joy. This is the day we will always remember. touches each one of us. So now we light a candle to symbolize the birth of his love within us. We help each other on this journey and so we take the light from one another. Let us bring this light out into the world to each person we meet. <laughs> 